Good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today I'm excited to share with you this 2015 Mercedes-Benz E400 Coupe. This E400 is currently showing just a hair over 63,000 original miles, and if you would like to see a high-resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll take you on a quick condition overview around both the interior and the exterior of this E-Class, as well as showing you some of the most interesting features. Now, of course, the first thing you will have noticed looking around the exterior is the stunning deep blue paint scheme really accents the car beautifully. You'll find a nice deep blue paint color featuring a lot of lighter metallic uh, content to the paint and it really accentuates these gorgeous body lines you'll find all the way around the vehicle. Of course, I'll take you really close to the panel so as to look for any dings or dents, any irregularities in the way that light reflects off the panel. And to my eye, making my way to the quarter panel, it all looks really nice. It also gives you a great view of this beautiful styling decision Mercedes made here. I love that body line that carries from the floor all the way up to meet the tail light perfectly where it's styled just to match. Uh, really, really nice look in my opinion. You'll see here we also have a lot of this silver trim on the window surrounds as well as a nice trim piece on the lower portion of the doors and that carries all the way to the rear bumper here. Speaking of wheels, we're going to look at these 18-inch split five-spoke wheels with a two-tone finish. You do have a metallic gray or silver paint depending on how you look at it. And on the outer portion of the wheel, you also have that machine face. It all presents beautifully, and this wheel here in the back is in excellent condition with minimal imperfections. Looking here at the front wheel, it's a similar story. Minimal imperfections, and it presents very nicely. You can see even those Mercedes-Benz center caps are in great shape, and those are usually worn pretty poorly, so it's nice to see. Looking here at the front fascia, you'll find the headlight lenses in great condition with minimal oxidation, no discoloration or scratching there. They do present very nicely. Looking at the center grille, you do have that large Mercedes-Benz emblem, which is actually your radar sensor for your radar-guided cruise control, as well as various other uh, driver safety and monitoring features. Looking here on the lower portion, you have this nice little lip that juts out from the lower portion of the bumper cover, uh, painted to match, and that looks great as well. You'll notice the coupe variant of this generation E-Class actually has quite a bit of differences in styling from the sedan version, and I think the coupe just looks that much sleeker and a little bit more kind of low slung. Everything is designed in a more swooping way. I really think the styling is fantastic on the coupe variant of the E-Class. Really, really attractive car. So taking a look here now at the passenger side of the vehicle. Again, we'll look really close to the panel, looking for dings, dents, scratches, etc. As we make our way down the panel, yet again, it all reflects very nicely. Personally, I do not see any dings or dents. Looks very nice. Yet again, looking at the wheel condition. Again, you'll find another wheel. Let me get out of the shadow here. You can see nice condition on that wheel as well. And the same can be said for the rear wheel here on the passenger side of the vehicle. I am noticing in this lighting a couple of small paint chips that you'll find very, very minimal, as you can see, but we do like to point these things out. Looking here at the roof panel, you will find a complete glass panel, giving you a full panoramic sunroof with a deployable shade that we'll show you. And then here in the rear window, you can see I have that rear sunshade deployed, and we'll show you the operation of that in just a moment. Now looking here at the rear of the vehicle, a couple interesting things to note. You can see, first off, these taillight lenses are crystal clear, and they're kind of well styled too. You can see the lighting has a somewhat aggressive design in there, uh, and it just looks beautiful and matches the rest of the car very nicely. Now, one of our technicians here in the shop is actually a former master technician for Mercedes, a very talented tech, but one of the little details he pointed out to me that I'd pass on to you, if you see this little flare here in the right side of that taillight, you might be wondering what that design is there for, and I recently found out that that actually directs the air around the back of the taillight so that in inclement weather, the rear of your taillight won't be collecting dirt or grime, and it actually stays cleaner, and water doesn't flow onto that part of the taillight. Very interesting little fact I thought you might be interested to know because I never knew what that little styling cue there in the taillight was for. But as we know, Mercedes are very particular in all of their design. 
You can see your E400 badge there with some chrome trim underneath your Mercedes emblem and that 4MATIC badge. Now, of course, the 4MATIC badge refers to the all-wheel drive system fitted to this car, meaning that it's going to be usable 365 days a year, especially here in New England, that is very relevant. Looking here at the rear bumper cover, it all presents well. And on the lower portion, you do have that black plastic uh, lower valence. You do have chrome exhaust tips on either side, flanking a nice chrome diffuser trim just there all presents very well but being a mercedes just as important as the exterior is the interior and here we'll find a beautiful complementary color scheme here you see that dark blue pairs so nicely with this tan interior now one of my absolute favorite things about an e400 coupe as compared to the e400 sedan are the seats that you get these seats look much sportier you can see that aggressive bolstering and the materials and the interior feel fantastic. These seats are actually rather firm, which in my opinion is a lot more comfortable over long distances and long drives as opposed to a big cushy seat. As you hop in, it's very comfortable. The seat feels like it was formed to my body. Really, really refreshing sitting in the E400 coupe. Looking at a nice solid funk when I close the door, you can see all of your seat adjustment controls here. Another view of the door card. This leather that carries across this door card feels fantastic too. It's really soft and supple, and these materials have held up rather well over the years. But the first thing we'll do is hit that nice big start button with just the key in my pocket. It fires up without any hesitation. Now if you see that flickering on the screen, that's only due to the camera's effect. As you can see, when I change lenses, uh, it actually goes away for the most part so no need to worry that screen is perfectly fine as is the main infotainment system but just generally looking as I back to my other lens looking here at the steering wheel controls you see this kind of chocolate leather that carries across your dashboard on the upper portion and onto the steering wheel it's all very nice you do have some minor wear which is relatively common on your steering wheel controls but otherwise the steering wheel presents beautifully you have nice perforated leather here at nine and three and you have that solid leather on the top and the bottom with some silver trim to match the remaining bits of the interior looking here at your infotainment screen as you can see ignore that kind of scrolling effect that you might be seeing infotainment's very nice you do have a reverse camera with an all uh, optional 360 camera that we have here looking from the top down you can see it's looking at my rear view, but if I put it in drive now, navigating a tight space, it then changes to the front view, and I have those parking lines that will move as I move the steering wheel. So that's a nice convenience factor, especially with that low-slung front end. It's nice to be able to spot exactly how far you are from any obstacle. Of course, you have your cruise control over here with your radar distance adjustment on the end. Of course, wiper controls and your traditional Mercedes gear selector on the column. Looking here through the center area, you do have more gorgeous silver trim with a nice analog clock right there in the center. Just gives a luxurious look and feel to your interior. All of your media controls are in perfect shape. You can see nowhere to be found here. You do have heated and ventilated seats on both front seats here in the Mercedes. I also can present or retract the seat belt because just to my side, if I push this button, the seat belt actually presents itself to me just here which is a nice feature because that B pillar or lack thereof B pillar is so far behind you. Uh, it's nice to have the seatbelt handed to you like that. Now this button in between the seat controls and the seatbelt will actually raise and lower with one touch that sunshade. And you can see it happens very quickly, very efficiently. And that works absolutely perfect. Now looking above my head, as you can see, I'll zoom out a bit. You can see a nice big panoramic sunroof letting in tons of natural light. This first glass panel does open, and with one touch, I can also close this sunshade. And as you can see, the fabric is tight. There's no wrinkles, no folds in it, and it closes up perfectly. So next up, I'm going to make my way up underneath the hood, where we'll take a look at the powertrain, which makes this such a fun driving experience. I'll see you there. All right, so now we've made our way to the front end here on the E400, taking a look at the three liter turbocharged V6 powertrain. As you can see, it's obviously very clean up here under the hood, clearly very well cared for. You see all of those plastic panels shining beautifully. 
all of the painted portions look just as nice as well. Reservoirs are nice and clean and no sign of any leaks anywhere around the motor. Now this is actually an engine that's impressed me quite a bit. Uh, I've gotten a little bit of time in the seat on this car and this engine produces just a hair under 330 horsepower. I believe it's around 329 and you're still going to see 29 miles per gallon on the highway. But what really impressed me was the torque and how quickly it comes into the RPM range. Uh, really provides a lot of power anytime you need it. And it actually makes a really nice sound as well. You can hear that turbocharger doing its work. You can feel the boost coming in. It's a pretty engaging motor. And it provides a sportier driving experience than I would have initially thought. Uh, so I'm very impressed with the E400 Coupe. And I think it strikes a really nice balance uh, between the smaller naturally aspirated models and the full-on turbocharged V8. Because having a V6 like this one, getting 29 MPG, and having a more reliable powertrain is really nice, especially when that big V8 only gives you about 70 more horsepower. Uh, so I think the V6 Turbo is a really appealing powertrain. Now I'd like to take a look here at the second row of seating. I can very easily tuck this seat forward and it automatically slides ahead for me. You can see those rear seats are styled just as nicely as the front. You have that really cool kind of bucket seat look here in the back with those tall integrated headrests. All the materials are just as nice. You have some storage there in the center with some cup holders under that cover. You have some speakers integrated into the sides there. And you do have individual window controls uh, because this car having no physical B pillar, these windows can drop down and produce almost a big single window and it looks amazing. I'll show you that in just a moment. You can see the rubber floor mats fitted here, but very, very nice place to be here in the back of the E400 Coupe. You also have uh, some air vents for yourself there and I actually fit sitting back here I have enough headroom it is tricky sitting behind myself as the legroom gets a bit limited but as I mentioned we drop these windows down you can see they all drop away and suddenly you have this gorgeous open air experience here in the E400 really really cool to see that absolutely love the way that feels when you're going down the road tons of open air now one touch here I'm gonna pop up the trunk you can see we have two sets of mats here in the back. You have the remaining WeatherTech pre-cut mats here for the front, as well as the original Mercedes-Benz beige carpets to match the rest of the interior. And you can see here, these two latches will drop down those rear seats, giving you a bunch more storage. So for a coupe, it's actually quite practical. No automatic tailgate. You just drop it down by hand, nice and simple. As you can see, just incredible here with those windows all the way down. So if you have any further questions related to this beautiful E400 Coupe, please reference the listing at alphacars.com, and there you will find all of the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time, and have a wonderful rest of your day. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you from Alpha Cars.